The Harn Museum of Art was founded in 1990. People come to the Harn all the time and they say things like, I had no idea, I did not know that your museum was so large. Our square footage is now 110,000 square feet. The Harn Museum of Art is the academic art museum for the University of Florida. We are also the community art museum for the city of Gainesville and all of the surrounding counties. One of my favorite pieces is by Claude Monet. It's a beautiful landscape painting. We put a bench in front of it because people love to just sit and be enveloped by the painting. We have a modern collection as well as a contemporary art collection, and we have a growing photography collection. We have a special exhibition of works from the Sam and Robbie Vickers collection. What we're showing is artists from all over the world. In the 19th and early 20th century, they all came to Florida. It's more than 700 artists. They painted beautiful landscapes, but they also painted things that people see out their back door all the time. I think more now than ever, really, art is so important for people to experience. It affects you in ways that you don't even realize. This brings people together. It's certainly bringing our students in more and more, and it brings our community in. And it's just nice to see everyone coming together again. Also in Gainesville is the Artisan Guild Gallery, which includes items made by over 50 artisans from the Gainesville area. The Artisan's Gallery is, is unusual in that it is a cooperative gallery of artists. We came together in 1970 to create a place where artists could get together and share resources and ideas and also sell our work. We have just about everything you can imagine. Clay and glass and fiber and different kinds of painters, mixed media work, oils, acrylics, watercolor. We have printmakers, we have jewelers. We have someone who does beautiful woodwork, sculptural and functional. It is unusual that we have so many local artists in North Central Florida, so we're very fortunate to have a group of artists that are exceptional. A big reason why I joined initially is that sense of community and family. Not all of the art is indoors. The 34th Street Wall is an 1,120-foot long retaining wall along Southwest 34th Street in Gainesville. The wall has been there since 1979 and is notable for being almost entirely covered by graffiti. It has served as sort of an ever-changing bulletin board for the Gainesville community. After decades of use, it is estimated that paint on the center of the wall is about 250 layers thick. 